The Bite 5 can perform impedance measurements on lead acid, NiCad, nickel metal hydride, as well as lithium ion batteries. Always take measurements off the posts of the battery wherever possible. The Byte 5 can take impedance measurements off of batteries up to 200 volts DC. The Byte 5 does not support strap measurements. This feature will be added later at some date. To perform an impedance test, you'll use the duplex probes provided with the unit. One pin on the probe injects the current, the other will measure the voltage drop. Connect the duplex probe to the Byte 5. Press and hold the power button until the unit turns on. The unit will now boot up to the main screen. From the main screen, select String. Press Select to select the string for testing. Select the desired string to test. If the string is not present, please view the string configuration video. Once you have selected the string, select New Test. The Byte 5 is now ready to test the string. The string name will be displayed on the screen along with the impedance warning limit, the impedance alarm limit, and the low voltage limit. The Byte 5 will show the test number of the string. On this particular string, we can see that there are four previous tests. The Byte 5 will also show the cell number to be tested. Now, measure the impedance of the first cell. The Byte 5 will make an auditable beep when the measurement is complete. It will display the measured impedance, the measured voltage, and the measured temperature taken off the negative post. Please note this method of temperature measurement is applicable to VRLA batteries. The Byte 5 will show if the measurement passed or failed. These values will be based on the limits programmed in the string configuration file. Now proceed to the next cell. Continue this process until you've reached the last cell on the string. At any time you can retake a measurement. Just select Manual Cell Select. The unit will ask you if you wish to just do this once or continuous. If you choose once, then you will just retest the one selected cell. If you select continuous, then you'll be able to retest all the cells starting with the one you picked. Select the desired cell you wish to remeasure, then retake the measurement. When your testing is complete, you can either go and view the data, see the viewing recorded data video, or just shut down the unit. All the data is now saved.